Anderson home goes back in time, or at least its front yard does. If you feel the ground shake near Greenway and Horizon, don't worry. It's likely just another prehistoric neighbor moving in. Look who's moving into the neighborhood. Let's hope for his Henderson neighbors this carnivorous beast is friendlier than he looks. It's really cool. It's a lot longer than I had expected. So was his trip. Travel isn't easy when you're seven feet tall and 21 feet long. Good thing he's getting a warm reception. The first time we ordered him, they forgot to put him in the container. I don't know how that happens. And then when they finally got him here, uh, he had to go through customs in L.A., so he was delayed. But now he's arrived at the Shangri-La Prehistoric Park, thanks to visionary and curator Stephen Springer. He started back in 2006 in an attempt to design a yard that would put a smile on everybody's face to make their day a better day. Now, my enjoyment comes from looking at all the faces, <laughs> the smiles on all the faces of the kids, and boy, there were their smiles today. They just, <laughs> the widest grins I've ever seen. With 36 dinosaurs, there are smiles everywhere, so it's mission accomplished. Thomas actually estimates 60,000 people have enjoyed his front yard park. It sparks the interest in the kids, wanting to learn more about them, and anything that's going to want a kid to study more, I mean, I think anyone would be in favor of that. I see a dinosaur, and when I want to buy it, I go, it's time to redesign the yard again. And so the park gets redesigned one more time. Gotta redo it all again. Springer is a retired teacher. He funds this all himself. And get this, he's likely not done yet. Prepare for the arrival up next of a caveman to Shangri-La. <laughs> he will be moving in next month. And from there, we'll see how it goes. If you'd like to see more, we posted a slideshow of the park on the homepage of our website, fox5vegas.com.